Tyler Kepke with Flight Basketball Academy Hong Kong and today I'm going to go over the attack series, attacking the defense in transition and a couple moves that will help you really get into the teeth of the defense and make plays for yourself and for others. So, the first move we're going to go over today is the inside out. One of the most easy fundamental moves there is, but one of the most effective. Tony Parker, this is his main move he uses to attack the defense. It's a really simple move. Basically, it's a manipulation of the ball, making it like you're going to cross over and you're pulling it back. The biggest thing you want to focus on in the inside out is a big side step and a big movement of the ball. A lot of people, they might do it and just move the ball with no side step. So you want to focus, big side step, big movement of the ball. And then the third focus point is your head and shoulders. I want to sell, then I'm going that way. So when I sell, I'm not just selling it with my ball on the side step. I'm selling it with my head and my shoulders as well. So I'm coming up, then bang. Now that I've explained our first move in the attack series, I'm going to demonstrate it full speed so you get an idea of what it should look like when you're trying to break down the defense. So the four main focuses of the inside out attack move is number one, big ball movement. Number two, big side step as you do the dribble. Three, sell it with the head and shoulders. And number four, and most important, is change of pace. It's not how fast you enter the move, it's how fast you exit it. Now that I've showed you the move and explained to you the main focuses, I'm gonna give you two drills that will help you drastically improve your inside out attack move. Okay, so the first drill that I'm gonna show you today, very simple, it's very effective in increasing the strength of your inside out dribble, getting you used to moving the ball. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna find any line on the court, once you find your line, you're going to straddle it so it's between your two feet. You're going to start with your dribble. Once you get going, you're going to keep your head up, of course. You're going to try and do an inside out. As you do your inside out, the ball should get over to the other side of the line and bounce on the line back. So you're trying to move the ball. As you get it, you can start moving it faster, 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 and building the strength of your dribble. What you want to do is you want to go for 50 in a row and start building the strength. So you can do 70 in a row, 100 in a row getting that ball over the line and really moving it. Now, the second drill for improving our inside out dribble, once we've built the foundation and the strength and the movement of the ball is there, is very simple. Okay, now that we've done our first drill, which helps build the foundation and strength of our inside out dribble, we move on to the second drill, which is a little more complicated, it incorporates everything into building up our inside out dribble. Okay, so what the drill is gonna entail, you're gonna set up a line of cones, about three feet apart. Once you have your cones set up, you're gonna start with your pound dribble. You're gonna be down, athletic, head up. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take a pound dribble. Once you get in between two cones, you're gonna do a big side step between the cones. As you do that, you're gonna move the ball in your inside out move. Try and break the line of the cones and pull it back. Sell it with your head and shoulders. So what's it gonna, what it's gonna look like is this. Pound dribble, inside out, pound dribble, inside out, pound dribble, inside out. 